we reach the big one. And I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this, but before I begin, sorry if this is late. This is what I get for recording Jump Force, and I'm still doing it. I'm Mega Man NG, and I welcome you back with another Ace Attorney anime review of Season 2. We reach Episode 17, Bridge the Turnabout First Trial. I'll provide the summary, then the main points. I have a lot to do, so let us begin. It began on one f cold February. Nick, Maya, and Pearl are heading to Hasakura Temple, mostly due to Nick noticing someone real familiar. Maya mostly wants to continue her training as a spirit medium, but they soon meet a famous author, Lee Stionim. Everything goes well, but then Nick notices the same individual. Before he can piece things together, tragedy strikes. On a night unlike any other, the wheels of fate are in motion. And this event will affect all those involved in the worst possible way. That's right, we've reached the big one. The final case of Trials and Tribulations, Bridge to the Turnabout. Bridge to the Turnabout is what many consider to be one of the best Ace Attorney cases ever. And it also is a compilation of several important cases throughout the Ace Attorney trilogy. The first trilogy. Basically, the first part is just to set things up. It gives us new characters that we will, we, or rather, they make their animated adaptation introduction. Yeah, I'm just too excited. But yeah, this episode introduces the likes of Bikini, Elise Donim, and Iris. But we know her as Iris Hawthorne, twin sister to Dahlia Hawthorne. I should mention that Larry also makes a return, but he goes by under a different name, Laurie Stonem. Oh boy, I'm reminded of all the moments in the Trials and Tribulations game. The good news is that Edgeworth will not have to deal with this Magatama stuff. Believe me, I know that for a fact. Not only that, Considering that this is an adaptation of one of the most important cases, they deliver the first part of it well enough to the point where even in the beginning of the episode, it is a faithful shot by shot of the startup for the fifth case, Bridge to the Turnabout. They did it well. We do also get some extra stuff, like a scene of Nick reading the events of Turnabout Beginnings, which in the game isn't shown till much later. And it turns out, yeah, the guy got a serious cold and in need of rest. I'm surprised he was able to survive falling down Dusky Bridge and going through Eagle River. The guy is crazy. There's a reason he, his first name is Phoenix. Phoenix Wright. Plus, we also get the moment where, well, we all knew what was coming. Nick asking Edgeworth to represent Iris by handing Edgeworth his defense attorney's badge. I don't know why, but I always consider it an important moment because... Well, fans wanted to play as Edgeworth in the games, and this was the case where we got our wish. Plus, I also felt that it also served as a setup to the spin-off series, The Ace Attorney Investigations, focusing on Edgeworth. I really liked that. It was like a pivotal moment. And the ending all sets things up for the second trial, and it's going to be quite a ride. I really do like the pacing. The pacing, thankfully, is not rushed. I'm thankful that it isn't rushed, because if it was rushed, you know I would be very angry about it. And I only say this because we reached the big one. We reached the most important case of the entire series. And thinking that we're now going to be getting an animated adaptation of it, the only thing I hope is that they don't screw it up. But considering what we're about to see next week, we're in for the long haul, I assure you. My final score for this episode is an 8.5. It's a very, very good episode. The pacing is just right. Everything is simply good, simply flawless. I honestly couldn't find anything wrong with it. Though I do feel that some stuff really did surprise me here and there. Not to mention, they're going to be taking the liberty to cut corners. And since, well, we're not dealing with the Magatama stuff, that's the only negative misstep. But either way, I feel that all of this is going to set things up nicely. Now, before I end this video, I do want to say I want to thank you guys for watching these reviews as well as any and all of my videos that I've been uploading so far. Things, unfortunately, have not been going well as of late, but that's not going to stop me from continuing to do what I can. 
Trust me, I'm fighting against YouTube itself. And it doesn't help that they no, they no longer add the option to auto-post whenever you upload a video. And that sucks because now I have to manually do it myself. And since I'm someone that likes to do it automatic, it makes it easier. But with this, this just makes it all the more worrying. I recommend everyone, whether you are subscribed or not, if you're subscribed, be sure to click that bell so that way you'll be notified of when I'll be uploading. And for those that are not, sub anyway. Besides, the road to 40k subs is not going to be easy to say the least. We already hit 35k earlier, but I want us to reach one step further. Believe me, I know. So anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of You. Apologies if it's a bit sudden, but I'm running late as it is, and I got a lot on my plate. I got to render Jump Force. I got to render Kingdom Hearts the post game. I have a lot to do. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. Doing it all helps to my benefit. It really does. And if you would like to support this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. All it takes is a dollar a month. It really is. It's not mandatory, but if you want to chip in, you can. I am in need of new patrons. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. I'll see you next week. Yaddy! <laughs>